What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. Hey, I just bought this. It's a Logitech C920 Logitech HD Pro webcam. As you know, I've tried some webcams here uh, recently, including this really cheap one, which is like a 480p, and then this one, which was a really cheap but 1080p. And, uh, you know, I haven't really been thrilled with either of them. This guy I wasn't thrilled with at all. This guy uh, works and I think actually shoots 1080p, but the, the, like the color saturation um, and rendering is, is off. So this one seemed to get really good reviews. So I bought it and I thought what we would do is give it a try and not only give it a try, but also compare it, uh, take a little footage with you, those other two too, and kind of uh, compare it and see, you know, what, uh, what we think of it compared to some of the cheaper alternatives. And hopefully the Logitech doesn't let us down, you know, hopefully in this case, normally I'm not a brand name guy, but hopefully that Logitech name brand carries with it superior uh, quality. Now, I have used some Logitech products in the past and always been happy with them. What I was most interested in is 1080p, you know, in a webcam. Uh, I think that's got to be pretty expected. If you're using, if you're shooting video these days, man, if you're not shooting 1080p at least, that's, uh, I think you're <laughs> missing the boat. And like I said, I try to shoot in 4K whenever possible, but it's certainly in the webcam world, you know, as you're doing something in front of your computer, probably not super necessary to do t any more than 1080p at this point, but obviously I think there'll be some higher end web webcams coming out. Now, here is the Logitech webcam and it's kind of interesting looking. It kind of looks like a, uh, a really wide alien face coming at me. So we've got the camera in the middle, 1080p, it says Logitech. It's got this kind of flat glass panel over the whole lens, uh, shaped kind of like this, like a mushroom. And then it looks like we have speakers. I I, I don't think they're speakers. I, I'm hoping these are microphone uh, pickups and probably maybe stereo sound. Uh, and then we have the cable coming off, uh, kind of the left side here. And then we also have this mount and so we have a little lip here, and then this is all like a rubberized material up here on the front and here on the top. So you put this on the top of your monitor, and then this does rotate. So you can make some adjustment there. And then this back, looks like there's plastic here that you would take off as well. Um, and then there's plastic still in there. Or just cut down in the middle, okay? So this is like shiny piano black plastic right there, and then you have more of this rubberized material there. So you kind of brace it on the top of your monitor. And there seems to be a fairly decent weighting under there. Also looks like you have a little female screw hole here, so if you wanted to mount this on the top of a camera tripod or something like that, you certainly could. Oh, it looks like this opens up, I'm assuming. Yeah, there we go. So it looks like you get a little, you get to brace it off of kind of the back. Now this is plastic, you can see the rubber stops right here. So there's no rubber on the front edge, which would, if it's if it's kind of pressing into the back of the monitor, it's not a big deal if there's some wear there, but you know, it, I don't know, it's kind of interesting. You've got a little kick out there as well. So you can kind of make this, adjust it to brace your monitor um, appropriately. Then you have a pretty long USB cable here, and it's just a standard USB plug. So that is a tour of the Logitech C920 camera and now the next thing is let's shoot a little video with it and see what it looks like uh, compared to some of the other cheaper cameras so let's try this cheap camera here this is just like a 480p camera i think and uh, they're like available for five or six bucks all right guys so i'm using the cheap little uh webcam here got it focused in i think i can't seem to do anything about the size or anything like that so what you see is what you get the audio from this camera is being recorded with this bc master microphone so it is not being recorded with the camera which i don't even know if it has a microphone on it but uh take keep that in mind just we're just looking at it for the video quality next let's look at the footage from this goosey it's an hd 92 1080p camera i've used this uh, for a number of things and take a look at that video all right, so now I've got the Goosey up here, as you can see, just much better resolution. Uh, the colors, I, you know, to me, I think are a little washed out. Obviously, I don't have it set up here like a studio with great, great uh, lighting or anything like that. But obviously, much better resolution, much better picture size, and obviously in the kind of the widescreen frame rate, again, using an external microphone for the audio portion. So not the camera for the audio, only a video test. Let's check out the next one. We'll hit up what we've all been waiting for is to try out this Logitech 
and uh, see what kind of video quality this thing takes. Now, I've got it recording here, that Logitech webcam, and I want to say uh, right here at the beginning that I've got it set to use the microphones on the webcam for picking up the audio. So the audio you're getting right now is coming directly from the webcam. wanted to give you that experience. The cool thing about it is when uh, you hit recording and the camera is active, there are two little blue LEDs on the side that light up, which is kind of nice, something that's uh, different than the other web cameras. Again, using an external microphone, so not using the microphone built in the camera. Uh, you know, as, looking, as I'm looking at the picture, it seems to be better. I mean, all of it, all the picture just seems to be a little more, not necessarily realistic, but, uh, you know, it kind of doesn't have that overly sharp look of the other one and kind of the washed out, super bright look. Um, you know, again, not, I, I've got a light shining on me. I don't know if that's helping or hurting my case for the, uh, for the camera here, but, uh, you know, it looks, it looks pretty good. Now, I, I bet I could tweak this a little bit, you know, uh, you know, I know in, in the camera recording app that I'm using, uh, I have an adjust color and video effects feature. But overall, I think this one is the best. And, you know, especially the focus right here on my face. And there's no way I can focus the camera as far as I can tell. It's just auto-focusing because uh, there's nothing to physically adjust. Uh, you know, it seems to be getting and, and sharpening that up pretty well. And, in fact, I'm getting kind of that bokeh effect in the back where things are a little blurred. And uh, that works. That's just fine for me. What I, what I want is usable video from the webcam. I'm not looking for perfect video. Obviously, I can look at some tips of really kind of making that even better, but, uh, you know, this is what I'm getting from the Logitech right out of the box at 1080p. So, so far, I'm pretty happy with it. I think uh, from what I've read, it's kind of the, you know, it's a very good webcam uh, for home and um, personal use, and so I don't really expect, you know, if you spend uh, more or buy a different one to get any better resolution or, you know, kind of image quality from from an alternative. Now, I do know on the webcams you can go up, up, up in the price points to a couple hundred bucks, and uh, at that level, it may be just phenomenal, but uh, I can tell you what we're not doing here at the Panda Research Institute is spending that kind of money on a webcam because I don't have the scratch. So, there you go. Logitech, 1080p webcam, Peter Von Panda. Out!